Okay, here's my uh, Super Famicom. This is the same one that I did the de-yellowing on before, uh, about a year ago now, uh, last summer. Um, I've been messing around with this a little bit here and there. Uh, mainly been using it to play uh, EverDrive and just catching up on some of the old games. Um, but I did an RGB mod on this too. And uh, I did it chip cheap and quick and easy way. Um, basically, uh, the black ones are your RGB, and then the yellow one here is the uh, composite sync. It's not the composite video, uh, it's a composite sync. Now, I can get composite video from here, and I was getting it from there, and um, for some reason the video was coming in really bright. Um, I ended up putting in some uh, 75 ohm capacitors in here, and you can see them right in here um, kinda crappy looking the way I soldered it all together but uh, yeah I had to put these uh, 75 ohm resistors in here just to bring the video uh, down so it wasn't so extremely bright uh, but in doing so it it kind of I don't know the video sort of washed out a little bit the 75 ohm was the best I could get. I experimented with a few different other resistors to see what uh, would work out for me. But without the resistors at all, it's bright but really washed out. Like the contrast is way too high. Um, if anybody has any ideas on how to get around this to make it better, I'd really appreciate it. I've done some searching online and really haven't found up with found anything out with uh, exact certainty uh, that it'll work uh, any other way. Uh, but again, uh, this gets the job done for now. Um, all I have to do is when I go from one console to the other, I have to make adjustments on my monitor uh, to, uh, to compensate for it. Basically, even still, I have to turn the brightness up on the monitor compared to like my Neo Geo or Genesis or Mega Drive, whatever. Anyways, I'll slap this guy back together and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now here's some shots here. This is what the uh, the RGB is looking like on this one. Um, it doesn't look bad. It's definitely a step up from S-Video. Um, there's no bleeding on the reds or anything like that. Uh, it looks really clear and clean, but it's just not as overall sharp or crisp as uh, as the RGB mods were on my like. Uh, Neo Geo, Mega Drive, or my uh, CMVS, or even the PC Engine for that matter. Um, I'd really appreciate any help if anyone has any ideas what I could do to make this look better. Um, not that it looks bad, it's just uh, I wouldn't really even care if it was like this. The main thing I don't like is that uh, when I go from system to system, uh, I have to turn the brightness and contrast up uh, from what I had it on on the previous system just because the the way this is set up isn't quite the same as uh, as the rest of them but I mean this will do for now I'm really not not upset with it it looks nice I play Zelda with it and in fact let me show you what that looks like So here's Legend of Zelda in RGB and uh, with this you can get an idea. You can really see the uh, the difference in the pixels here and uh, the no, there's no real color bleed. Um, it looks nice um, but I really think that uh, there's a chance that it could look better and uh, if anyone has any ideas on how to go about this uh, I'd really appreciate it. But overall, I mean, it's it's a simple mod, and uh, I mean, if you don't mind it just like this, uh, just throw some uh, RCA jacks on the back and uh, 75 ohm resistors, and uh, you'd be set.